Only the finest, warmest Greg sausage rolls go to our troops. This is a boost in morale and is a great recruiting tool. Everyone wants to get their hands on one of these delicious sausage rolls. Oh. What the heck? There's a. <laughs> What's going on, Ram Fab Diddly Doodlers? It's me, Yaman, yeah, Alex the Rambler, and today we're returning to Hearts of Iron 4! And we're playing a mod called Tanatuva Moon! Tanatuva to the moon! Right? And I'm also joined by a new channel mascot. We've got a little slowpoke! Uh, one of my moderators over on Twitch, uh, by, uh, by a fella called Onion Duck, decided to send me a slowpoke in the mail. Thank you very much. If you've got any ideas with what to name this new channel mascot, leave a comment. And this video is sponsored by March of Empires. More about them in just a mo. But yes, we're going to do a mod where what if Tanatuva won World War One but lost World War Two, but won World War Two when they lost World War One but lost World War Two and won World War One? That makes sense, right? Also, make sure, comment, like, and subscribe. 5,000 likes for more Hearts of Iron, okay? Thank you to March of Empires for sponsoring today's video. March of Empires is an MMO RTS that's free to download on various systems such as the Windows Store, Steam, Google Play, and the Apple App Store. You get to start your very own kingdom, battle other players, and much, much more. You can choose to be a part of three different factions, a Highland King, a Northern Tsar, or... A desert sultan. You can grow your influence daily, you can unlock special powers and bonuses as more lands fall to your army, and you can even fend off enemy invasions. Here is my little kingdom, as you can see. Very nice looking, very tasty, very tasty indeed. So not only can you play with other players, you can play with your friends, create your own alliances. Here's my little alliance, an alliance of one. <laughs> but that's all I need. If you're a fan of MMO or strategy games, this might just be the one for you. So make sure to click on the link in the description and download March of Empires completely for free on a device of your choosing. So here we go. We have the <laughs> we have the demonet the the, 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 the demonetized Reich. Add no money. <laughs> what? Okay, but we're going to be playing as the nation of Tanatuva. Tanatuva to the moon. This is just going to be a silly mod that we're going to have fun with, but I believe I might make an appearance in this. Hey, it's always nice. It, thank you for inflating my ego, mod developer. <laughs> but here we go. So there's a, there's a few unique focuses uh, that we could do. Tana can into the ocean, becomes owner and controller of Atu Island. Oh, hold on. This focus tree might be slightly overpowered. What do you think? Oh my giddly goo. What is a Dalmadingo? Jeez. Okay, unlimited manpower. It appears this might turn Tanatuva into a superpower and indeed take us to the moon. Wow. Thanks to the kindness of another, Tanatuva has been granted control of Atu Island. Finally, we can go swimming. Lovely. Well, hey, Hot Tub Rambler is a popular figurehead. Very nice. And look, even Lady Rambler is in there as the staunch monarchist. Very good. Very good indeed. Wow, that's nice. Me? And milady. Milady? Whoa! Lots of natural resources in Tanatuva now. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> oh, we can take a little look at the mod developer's cat. This is my cat. Thank you for clicking this decision. I love my cat. He's a good boy. You get one political power for clicking this. Please let you know if you like my cat. I do. I love your little cat. Ah. Ah. I wish more mods did that. Honestly, I do. If every mod developer to start, start putting picture of their animals in, in mods, how wholesome would that be? Send an envoy to Greg's. Ooh. Greg's opens their doors. Greg's have begun investing in their stores in the middle of Europe. <gasps> great news. That is great news indeed. Tanatuva gains Atu Island. Hey, hey. Oh, there we go. We've got pretty much got an empire now. Very nice. I do want to send an envoy to Greg's. As soon as I get enough PP, you're going to be mine, Gregs. I can finally get a sausage roll. I can finally get a sausage roll. I believe the person that has made this mod is a long-time viewer. If you see some Rambler memes, you know that's why they're there, such as Hot Tub Rambler. Extra 15% stability. Hey, that's pretty tasty, right? Not as tasty as Gregs, though. Bug! Mosquitoes, they love me. How did they even get in? Ah! <gasps> 
Tanatuva sent an envoy over to Europe to investigate a rising business. This is a wonderful British bakers who won World War One, and now they're the island lands of Switzerland. What? The envoy returned licking his lips and bringing him the wonderful goodies. As such, the government of Tanatuva has decided to invest. Hey! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, come on now. Only the finest, warmest Greg sausage rolls go to our troops. This is a boost to morale and is a great recruiting tool. Everyone wants to get their hands on one of these delicious sausage rolls. Oh. What the heck? There's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for giving me a giggle. I think that's all the mod wanted to do. The, 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 the person that made this wanted to do. Just give me a giggle. And thank you. You have succeeded. What kind of generals can we... <laughs> We've got Savaloy, Teddy, Charmander, and Chonka. Ah, the Chonka. Um, well, it appears Charmander and Teddy are there. Eh? Jeez. Okay, let's get Teddy in, and then we'll also be led by Chonka, the field marshal, a skilled staffer. Ah, oh, if only I had my Chonka with me now. He's downstairs. I don't, maybe I should put the kettle on. I should put the kettle on. If someone's put a Chonka in the video, I've got to go get a Chonka of my own, haven't I? Here he is. Hey, old Chonka boy. Very nice, very nice indeed. So what can we do as Tanatuba? How do we get to the moon? I think we should really get Lady Rambler in as soon as possible. Non-monarchy playthrough? Maybe someday. But it is not this day! Oh yes. Oh my gosh, we do have sausage rolls. Mmm, tasty. Ah, well, no matter what mod it is, Spain always has a civil war, don't they? But... Let's get Hot Tub Rambler in for that extra 15% stability. Giggity giggity goo. I can go for a new king. And then I become the leader. Alex Von Rambler, man of the nation, a staunch monarchist and empire builder. Oh, -ho. time to crown a new king. The Rambler Dynastia. <laughs> oh, it's very nice of people to make a, a another Rambler mod. Or is it a Tanatuva mod? You decide. Okay, so we're now the first Tanatuvan Empire, led by me, Alex Von Rambler. Oh, dearie me. Oh, boy. Oh, giddily. Who can be in the military staff? Tommy K as the armor genius. Just being a bit generous, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We also have Isora Productions as the artillery genius. Oh, my gosh. And feedback gaming as an infantry genius. Okay, well, let's start rebuilding the nation now that I'm in command. My first general will probably be artillery. Artillery I Sorrow Productions. Artillery attack and defense. Oof. Yes, please. Let's start getting some troops in the field, I guess. Because manpower isn't a problem. I've maxed out the build slots here, but what is our infrastructure like? Yes. Oh, that's chonky. Rebuild the nation, then we we need more factories. Slaps Tanatuba. This bad boy can fit so many factories. Alright, let's get feedback in now. Automation, here we go. With more automation and mass production, we can take some of these workers out of the factories and give them guns. Sure. Okay, let's get Tommy in. Even 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 though we, I don't know how often will he he will he will be used, the genius that is Tommy K. We'll still get him in. Then I'm gonna annex Mongolia, I think. Fund the railways. Let's put some government funding into these railways. Get them working. Maybe some of them will be on time. I doubt it, but we can but hope. I'm going for the British model. Never on time. Can I actually get tanks? <gasps> heavy tonk. Oh, why don't we start producing some heavy tonk? Yeah, why not, eh? Why not? Let's get some heavy tonk divisions. Um, The attrition we're going to experience here is going to be absolutely atrocious, but uh, we'll get on with it. I wish they'd given us some, some aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminium. Oh, 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 here we go. Boing. There we go. Pfft. It's as easy as a click. Not long ago, the government of Tanatuva approached Mongolia to offer them permanent protection from the hits of communism. The Mongolian government agreed and its citizens are now all recognised as true Tanatuvans. Oh, and now I can just sell off the railways. You know what? This is costing the government too much. It's now time to sell it off. Oh, flipping and flopping. What is Final Factory 7? The best factories ever. They deserve a remake. Oh. Ah, oh, I'm just trying to think, like, when should I attack the Soviets? I'm thinking probably when they're distracted with uh, old Germany in, in like, 1940. 
I mean, I could always go to war with them now. I don't really think I'm in the best spot to do that, though. Although they do have the 50% division org- oh. Yeah, I don't think I want to wait too long, you know? How many men do we have in the Tanatuvan army? 211k. That will be increasing. Greg's have finished all investments in pastry development and sausage roll cannons. The doors are now open no, for new and old customers. Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> sure. Uh, I guess we'll get Savaloy in as the next general. Why am I level one general? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm pretty competent at the game. What button did I click? Oh my gosh! I didn't know that was a button! You can... You can minim... 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours, Alex. Oh, dearie me. Wait, I could have done All Hail the Chonker. What? What? The Chonker becomes the lead! What have I done? What have I done? All Hail the Chonker. Oh, he even spelt it. Hilter, not hit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, Hilter, not Hil <laughs> I guess I'll strike at the motherland. Russia has been a threat for us for too long. It is time to show them our true might. For Tanatuva, 500,000 units of... Oh my gosh. All right, well, here we go. I'm just going to ruin all of the... Uh... Well, ten oh no, it only cost me 1%. Okay, what is this? Here is your reward for not going communist. Aside from the war goals you gained, of course, Tanatuba now has true strong leadership of some kind. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Shall I see what happens if I click attack? I think I'm winning on some tiles. Yes, I am. In fact, I think I'm winning on most tiles. So if I were to just, uh, haha, YOLO, we no longer get the effect from the monarchist playthrough. Sacre bleu. It's over. And now I just treat my troops like the fodder they are. You really think I care that I'm taking thousands upon thousands of casualties? No. I have a heavy tonk. And no, Teddy's been wounded. Okay, well, uh, I'm stopping the advance. So I hope that they're just going to just throw themselves at me now and just take infinite casualties. That's the Soviet way, right? This is fun. I'm having a good time. Like, we're taking a lot of casualties, but it's kind of like... Yeah, whatever. Uh, the Soviets are already running out of equipment, so once I can get more planes up in the sky and get uh, area superiority over this region. I think we're going to have an alright time. Yeah. I think I probably already have more <laughs> more planes than them. Do I? That would be impossible. Well, I don't know how many they have, but uh, I think I'm trading alright. Because how many do I have? Lots. So if I were to go... Bloink, with the extra air, I think my troops might be able to have a quite a fun time. Now, I will need to supply them with extra infrastructure, of course. <laughs> wherever they're going. <laughs> We'll build infrastructure across the world. I love being a little bit OP. It's fun, isn't it? It's just a shame that attacking across all of these bits is f***ing awful. Absolutely f***ing awful. Tanatuva to the moon. Let's kill the Soviets. <laughs> We're trading pretty well for a rather inexperienced army. Like We're getting pushed back on the occasional tile, but it's, it's kind of like, eh. They're using their mountaineers here, really, aren't they? And what do they have? They have their great patriotic war. Oh, that's got to expire, right? Everywhere's pretty much in green supply. I think that's allow that's what's allowing us to keep expanding. Oh, this is this is sweet. It's just grim that I have to waste so much time fighting up around these parts. Hold the phone. Does Atu Island still hold? You f***ing bet it does, mate. Am I actually going up against the whole Soviet army or something at the moment? Their partially equipped army. That I've just bled. They're going to fall so quickly to the... They've lost three million troops. All right, we'll keep going then. We stop for no one. We push, we push, we push. The Chonka can be upgraded. Infantry expert. We push again. We push more. We thrust. We move. We conquer all. Oh, this mod is fun for map painting. If you've ever wanted to be an overpowered rambler, this is your chance. <laughs> this mod makes me look good at the game. Imagine just you're, you're, you're watching a video, the first Hearts of Iron video you've ever watched, and you're like, what the heck is Tanatuva doing conquering this? Well, I'm not exploiting it in the game. It's just uh, lots of buffs that I've been given. Oh, wow, they've barely got anything. Uh, oh, yeah, I've stomped them. I've completely stomped them. Where have their armies gone? Where are their defences? Have I actually just defeated the Soviet Union? Oh, we're almost past the, uh, the mountains here, the Ural Mountains. And then it's just like basically open season on the Soviet heartland. I mean, this is just uh, a travesty for the Soviets. They just collapsed. Trotsky survives an assassination attempt. That's not going to help them. <laughs> the Tanatuvan Empire. 
groweth. Oh, this war is going to be over. Hopefully pretty soon. I'm almost going to conquer the whole nation before Germany even gets a chance. All right, let's upgrade my Savaloy. What all the ladies love to hear. Yeah, let's make myself adaptable to the climates. Make sure your Savaloy is adaptable to any climate it may enter. Lads, I don't think they have an army anymore. Oh, mate. You hate to see it, sort of. Oh, we're almost at Moscow. The Tonks, move into Moscow. Send in Tommy K. Oh, yes. 1940, and we've already freaking conquered them. Giggity, giggity, goo. Noish. <laughs> Tanatuva can into space, ladies and gents. Wah! That's, that's pretty nice. That's tasty. That's very tasty. Hold on. It's all my core. Oh, wow. The whole thing is my core. Oh, <laughs> Apart from Poland. In which case, um... You live! I will allow Poland to live. How's that? Should have released them as my puppet or something, but you know what? I'll return the- Oh, wait, no, now Germany's just gonna take it. Oh, sh I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Sorry, Poland. I, I, it's kind of like, I teased you there a little bit, didn't I? Oh, mate. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Nuclear bombs. Sure. Let's build some nuclear reactors all around frickin... Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Scorched Earth, here we come. That's how I get to the moon. By bombing anyone that comes near me. <laughs> Look at all those nuclear reactors. Jeez! Oh, Scorched Earth policy is going to be the um, king, I think. Alrighty, death to demonetization. Let's make sure future videos are blessed with the green dollar! I think it'd just be hilarious if I just managed to blitz through here. Yeah. I don't think that's realistic. Or is it? Ah, Japan declared war on British Malaya. Then the US has joined in. The fall of Hong Kong already. The United States has joined the war now. Okay, so with the United States in the war, that's going to help us with uh, in terms of Navy. Uh, looks like the Axis is having a pretty easy time of it, really, aren't they? It's not really what you want to see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Do I join the Allies? No. I don't need to. Bruh. And I am at war with Japan. Because how much territory... How many troops do I even have now? As Tanatuva. Let's... 282 divisions. 2.7 million men. Oh, wow. I really pushed into Romania. I wasn't expecting that. They sent a lot of troops my way. Oh, sh... Um... I may have miscalculated how many troops I needed for this. Right! Well, that's easily solved. And uh, I can plop them there right on the front line as soon as they deploy. And then we uh, try and hold until I can get the nuclear <laughs> nuclear weapons online. <laughs> oh, we're actually holding. That's interesting. I'm gonna rack up those German casualties. Wow. Um, where can I build airports? Everywhere! This is bonkers. Having Tommy K leading the heavy tanks was the best decision this mod had ever made. Thank you, Tommy, for leading the tank corps to victory. Oh, well, they're collapsing. I'm taking on, like, the whole of the Axis and the uh, East Asian uh, Central Prosperity thing. I know names. Like, I'm not making much progress, but it's just hilarious just to see how much they're struggling to hold me. Despite, like, they've got pretty over... They, they should. They should be holding better than this. In fact, I, I... Do you know what? I will stop advancing for now because I'm wasting so much men and equipment. I'll wait until everyone's, like, all secure and then really pump it. Louder! They can continue to go ham because, hey, why not? Oh, they're not even trying to advance. What? Oh, there you go, Manchuko's gone. So Korea's gonna fall, I think, probably without a fight. Uh, this is amazing. I can't believe how easy it is to defeat Japan. Dangerous naval invasion. Oh no. Anyway. Oh, they did decide to send some forces to try and hold me here. Fools. I am legion. Still taking almost a million casualties, though. Worth it. Can uh, you do some D-Days, please, guys? I feel like I'm doing all the work here. <laughs> I capitulated Romania. Wow. I wasn't even really trying. I always wanted to go for Germany. Well, they've got barely any troop. What, 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 what? Keep attacking. Keep attacking with all your divisions. They are collapsing. The Germans are collapsing. We are overrunning them. Why am I doing a German accent? I apologize. Oh, Teddy's been wounded again. He'll survive. He'll live. He's a strong boy. Oh my gosh. It's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, we're almost at Berlin. Go on, go on, son. I would like to see the message, please. That's not what I wanted to see. Where's the Berlin has fallen? Berlin has fallen. Show me that one. Show me the Berlin has fallen. Still no help from the Allies at the moment. Like, where the f are they? 
Look at what I've achieved. Where are you? Oh, Greece has been naval invaded. Oh, very nice. It looks like we might be being helped. About bloody time. More nuclear reactors, you say? I really want to go to the moon. I'm building enough reactors to get me there. That's a lot of defenders in Istanbul. I want it. I think they're too well entrenched in that city. <laughs> Until I nuke it. Well, the Allies are probably going to come in and take all the glory, aren't they? Mm. Looks like Germany's still kind of holding. Uh, once my deficit gets all fixed, I, 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 I just want nukes. That's all I want, as you can tell. What is this? Rockets! Yes! Get them in, baby. I'll take some rockets. Oh, yes. 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 Nuclear bombs are ready, and it... How many we... Oh my gosh, we're going to build one in like every few days. Oh, let's get the strat bombers ready. Bam. 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 Seeing as the city decided not to fall. Oh, they probably could fall now. However, I'm still going to probably do that just for because I can. I just wanted the city, to be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of okay not bombing anything else now. What's the capital of Germany at the moment? Sorry, Vienna. Got to drop another one. We've got to go to the moon. There we go. All right, let's try and launch the final attacks. Oh, Japan, I almost forgot about you guys, didn't I? Arr, where's the nearest airfield? I'll just... Rocket sites? That would take me to the moon. So Germany's screwed. Probably could just keep bombing them if I wanted to. Might as well, eh? Spent all this time building them. Am I gonna go for it? It is quite hilarious. Like, I'm building a nuke, like, every ten days. Oh, Hungary's gone. Bye. Ah, good. One more to finish them off. Well, I didn't get all of the territory. I got a lot of it, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. It's at least still pretty chonky, eh? Not for long. Uh, but you know what? I, I think I've, I think I'm done with this, uh, with the mod. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm clearly the world power. I'm going into the moon with my nukes. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so thanks again to March of Empires for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't yet, make sure to click on that link in the description and try it out for yourself. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Kobe Dennis, Zachariah Mosby, Brandon Preston, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Omjack, Tadhouse, Used Beef, Valhalla Halls, Vash, Warren P. George, and Yaboy yeah for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!